Broke the hole. Broke the old shirt. Broke the hole. Broke the old shirt. Broke the hole. Broke the hole. Bashim yao shirt. Bashim. Rakakudash. The blinds to the apostles and the elders of Great Mills on true wealth. Of course, salutations to the whole elect out there, man. You are kim to stock kim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity on the road. Um, in transit, someone's going to be entitled this the Lord's program. The inspiration for the show comes from the fact that, you know, uh, they, they shut down Born Again. I'm going to be real, brothers. I was pissed off, man, because that was, um, like, um... For our sit downs on the Wednesday shows, that we had like an audience, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's really the most annoying part about when they shut down these channels. You know, it's like you, you know you're building an audience, you know you're feeding your flock. So imagine you know you have your flock, you're feeding your flock, you're seeing your pasture growing, and every you know you see a flock growing, then some nigga just come and shut down your whole farm abruptly. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna feel some type of way. But as the title said, it's a lost program. The most I allowed them to do it. Amos 8, 8, chapter 11, verse, of course, there's going to be a famine of the word, all right? Um, not just a famine of bread. Pardon me, but of hearing the word of the Lord. And YouTube has been cracking down on everybody, man. I mean, hypersensitive flaggots out there. So we put the curses up when we flag these videos. And they got these, uh, what they call AI. It's not even AI. It's not automatic. It's not artificial intelligence. That doesn't exist, right? We don't have free will. So how the fuck are machines have free will? They have uh, these um, bots that pick up on your words and this, that, and third, and, 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 and you know, shut your videos down. Well, we don't even know what video um, they took down because the way it's set up, man, they can take down all our videos that they want, man. They, all this thing is considered hate speech and this and violating treaties and uh, terms and conditions. You know, even though we're just preaching the Bible, but we're preaching the Bible, you know, pretty much unadulterated, unfiltered, you know what I'm saying? Not not being politically correct, but being scripturally correct. And that offends people. But the Lord told us that, you know, offense must come, but woe unto the motherfucker that's offended, man. All right? Why? Because I said, motherfucker, I'm using rude speech. Well, guess what, man? The Apostle Paul said, do I be rude in speech? Yes, yet not, yet not, yet not in knowledge. So... You know, we're, we, we try to tone down the rude speech for the simple fact of this purpose, man, all right? It's more about teaching the word, you know? But, uh, you know, let it just be a curse on today's ass, man. Let it be a curse on today's ass for getting their feelings, for getting emotional about us teaching the word of the Lord, for hindering the word of the Lord. And we know that ultimately, the title said it's the Most High's program, right? The Most High, Proverbs 16 and 1, down to 4, right? He's creating the hearts. Uh, stir it. If, or somebody got offended, if the most size the one that stirred them up to the man, I gotta flag this thing, or you know, and shut down shows. But YouTube is not only getting us, they're getting um, Edomites that's telling on the, the, the BS that America's doing. Isaiah 47, chapter the first verse, you know, the curse is being lifted up, lifted up on America, and pursuant to the book of Psalms, the 64th chapter, and the 8th verse, a lot of Edomites are doing it. First and foremost, you got the prophets of the Heavenly Father, son with the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. We're the one that's able to filter these things through the scriptures, all right? But you got these Edomites that they'll bring out documents, just straight up documents. It ain't no opinion, no nothing, just straight documents exposing the wickedness of this kingdom. So their channels are getting shut down because people nowadays are going to alternative media. If you're still watching CNN and MSNBC and mainstream media, just a, you're just out of it, man. You're, you're not even in the, uh, consideration, man. But you have uh, Edomites that are pissed off with um, the society, a kingdom divided against itself should not stand. You know, you can thank Donald Trump, but even before him, man. <laughs> you have whistleblowers, all right? And you have, uh, you know, Edomites that, that um, pose the different wars that the United States have dragging everybody into, the state of Israel of dragging everybody into, all right, and these certain hot topics that's getting their, their station shut down, see, they do this thing for a living, uh, alternative in, uh, in investigative journalism, all right, they, you know, they, they make some type of profit off of it, so what YouTube does now is de-platform them, we on the other hand, we work, you know what I'm saying, we, we, the scriptures tell us we can't, you know, we shouldn't be charging this thing, man, all right. I'm not going into tights and offerings, okay? 
If somebody want to give, that's up to you. But we're not making it a mandatory thing. There's no Patreons uh, obligating anybody to give. You know what I'm saying? This thing is all, it's all, it's about faith. And if you're giving faith, you're going to receive a faith. You're going to get blessed ultimately with the kingdom. You know? Our brothers are with the men of the Lord. You know, we don't get led astray by any types of uh, evils. But going back to the point at hand, you know, those people get pissed off because they make a living of um, alternative uh, investigative journalism. You know what I'm saying? Uh, YouTube deplatforming will head out a lot of people, man. And either two things are going to happen. Either the most size is going to shut down all this shit. Or people are going to flock to a new platform. And um, you can see, you know, YouTube go the way of MySpace, you know. Pardon me. As the Apostle of the Heart said, they're pretty much on YouTube to be like some type of gimmicky site. A site where, you know, you have chipmunks playing pianos and that type of BS. There's no type of uh, um, truth in there, you know. They feel, YouTube is filtering out, filtering out and deleting a lot of videos that go against um, what the elites don't want you to think. A primary, primary example, I remember one time when I searched YouTube, they had a ton of videos on the moon landing being fake. Now, every video you see is moon landing being fake, debunked, all right? Pretty much debunking, uh, they don't they don't show both sides anymore, you know what I'm saying? They don't show both sides anymore, so, you know? Pretty much it's a unilateral um, um, thing now that, look, this is what happened, and we don't want to hear the other side, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they're pushing, you know? And if anybody, that right there shows you. That right there shows you that there's no freedom of speech or freedom to anything or equal anything, man, because everything is unilateral to, 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 to fit uh, what the fit the agenda of what these uh, devils want out there, you know? Which YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all these social media um, uh, things that could be used to manipulate the minds are all backed by the CIA. So, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. We're not ignorant of the most high's devices. Some nigga, some nigga didn't, wasn't in his basement in college and created all this, man. This is a CIA-backed operation, man. All right? Because think about it. The elites, <coughs> they're crafty. The devils. Genesis, the third chapter. First verse. Esau is the most subtle beast. All right? This serpent is the most subtle beast, subtle beast of all these nations. They're crafty. All right? They, they, they have think tanks. You know, how can we manipulate the masses? And social media is a great way, um, very um, smart way, man, how they, how they came up with manipulating the masses. For example, they made it cool to not want any privacy. You know what I'm saying? They made it like a cool thing. Like, you know, I told somebody I don't got Instagram. And it was like, what kind of backward caveman shit is that? But if you look at Instagram, all it is, all right, it's just sharing your information, where you are, where you at, what you're doing, what you're about, you know, what you plan to do. You know, that's all that's about. Nothing more, nothing less. And then guess what? That's how the government keep tabs on you. So they don't even have to ask you what you're doing or what you're about. They make it a thing where that's, you know, they make it a thing that to, to where you want to tell them. You know? And I don't care if you delete this or delete that. All that shit gets stored in a database. All right? So you see that we move into that uh, 1984 George Orwellian uh, totalitarian um, type of, of living, man, all right, where everything is dictated you, by by what the, the government wants you to think, how they want you to feel, how they want you to be, how, what they want you to see, hear, think, you know what I'm saying? All that is being manipulated by them. And guess what? The masses love it. But thankfully, through the spirit and power of your how about Shimia was shy, man, you know, we receive this word and we understand what's going on. Revelations, the third chapter and the 18th verse tells us about the eye self, you know? It says anoint thyself that with the eye salve, which we we anointed our eyes with the scriptures, man, which are able to make us see through the darkness. That's how come we don't follow the, the masses of the world because, you know, man, you go into the world, you're going to get judged like the world. You know, we don't want to get judged like the world. How's the world going to get judged? Pursuant to Isaiah 66 and 15, man, with fire. 66, 15 to 16, Second Ezra is the 15th chapter, the 16th chapter, all types of plagues, famine, destruction that's going to befall us. We don't want to be... As it says, woe unto the world, man. And then that dwelled there, man. Or I believe rather he said, woe is me. You know? 
He prophesied against the world. He prophesied against many kingdoms, just like Jeremiah. And we all doing that to this day. And that's what pissed a lot of these people off. It's like, and that's what pissed a lot of these people off, man. All right? Hence, you got flaggers going hard. But you know what, man? Look. Look, like the title says, it's the most size program, man. If this thing gets shut up, then be thankful that you was able to get it before the most high closed the door on it. Because there's going to come a time when they're going to be crawling and gnawing, you know, for wisdom. Just like in the book of 1 Samuel, the third chapter, first verse, it told you that the word of the Lord was precious in those days when Samuel came on the scene. Why is that? Well, you had over a period of four centuries, man, over 450 years of just judges ruling with no open prophecy. The scriptures tell you in the book of Proverbs, when there's no, when there's, uh, no open vision, the people perish, you know? And that's what's going to happen. Soon, you're not going to see us out there in the highways and the byways. We're not going to be putting together lessons like this. They're going to shut a lot of things down. And people are going to be out there uh, desperate for food, desperate for spiritual food, understanding of what's going on. And they're going to be there. And they're going to perish. Starting first and foremost with the scoffers, man. All right? The ones that scoffed at the Heavenly Father's word came against his men. But well, once a part of this thing, all right, talk shit. Came against the apostles of elders and you don't see them no more. The most I still got y'all niggas marked too, man. All right? Luke 9 and 62. Once you put your hand to this plow and look back, you ain't fit for this thing, man. And a lot of these motherfuckers that look back, the most I got you marked, man. And you're going to get um, beat with more stripes. All right? Than just a, your regular Jake in the world. Because you know better. You know what I'm saying? That hurts the most how more, if it, like, you know, to make you understand it. Like, you know, so you got your woman, whatever. You know, you shared everything with your woman. You know what I'm saying? And she betrays you. She goes and fucks on you, right? Two scenarios. If she go and fuck on you with a random dude, you're going to be pissed off, right? You're going to be pissed off like this bitch has cheated on me, right? Or what if she cheated on you with your best friend? That's going to hurt more. You're going to want to, you know what I'm saying? It's just going to impact you more because you're like, man, I told both of y'all every fucking thing, man. I told my woman all this. I told my best friend all this. And y'all go behind my back and fuck them. So that's the same thing. The most I don't reveal is precious knowledge to your ass. I'm talking about the ones that done left. He revealed his precious knowledge to your ass. Had him suck with his prophets. And you go around and turn your back, man. Talk shit. Slander the word. And then, and, and then mix his words up. I'm trying to say that the Gentiles are Israelites. Trying to say these ain't the prophets of the Lord. I'm trying to say the mark of the beast of the ain't the, So the Most High said, man, fuck that. I got to get these niggas more because that shit hurt me more. That I done gave these motherfuckers this thing, man. Part of my French, man. Soul in the spirit. Certain brothers bring out the word differently. Sometimes, you know what? The vibrations on you, you're not cursed so much. And sometimes the spirit get turned up and you let out a few uh, what they call swear words, you know? Which I'm not cursing technically, all right? But curse is the rich... To, it's a wish evil upon somebody. <laughs> Fuck shit is a, a, both acronyms. But for the sake of, uh, you know, for the sake of trying to keep this video up, you know, we're not I'm trying to just try to do a bit better to control myself. But ultimately, I'm going to keep reverting back to the title of the lesson. The most high is in control of all this thing, man. All right? The most high can have you do a lesson and just go all in and have it stay up. Or the most I can have you slip up on one thing or say one thing offensive and shut the whole channel down. Everything's the most high. But, as the scriptures tell us, the words of the Heavenly Father is not going out of void. And yeah, born again had almost 3,000 videos. All right? The GMS Walk and Talk had thousands of videos. London Brothers, thousands of videos. Brothers have thousands of videos on their pages. Just like that, gone. All right? But none of it was in vain. The most I had every show hit what it was supposed to hit. And then after that, the most I said, okay, start over. Let's make the world even more scarce, make it even more precious, make it even more hard to find. So, you know, if you're coming across this video and you've still been keeping up, you know, get it while you can. Because ultimately, their goal is just to get, just to say, look, man, to hell with the internet thing, man. Let's really start regulating. Because there's no way to really regulate the internet. The World Wide Web is so crazy. What they're trying to do is work on something called Internet 2.0. I don't know too much of the details, but I get the premise. All right? They want to regulate the internet, man. 
Just like how you go to the, when I when I was a kid, when I was a kid, and I would go to the New York Library. It was very limited, man. It was very limited the sites you could go to and the shit you could type in. All right, because it was for children. You know, you couldn't really see much and do much. So it's the same thing that they want to do. All right, for the masses, limit the hell out what they could do. You know, limit the hell out what they could do. But you could only limit according to the most highest bounds, man. Esau, you're not in control. You're not in control of nothing. As the scripture says in Romans 9, chapter 17, verse, for this purpose have I brought thee up. Same thing he did with Pharaoh in, in Egypt. Same thing he did with the so-called white man now. The most I props you devils up to serve one purpose and one purpose only to fulfill prophecy. Ultimately to be destroyed and conquered by Yahweh and put into subjection by Jacob. That's second Ezra, second Ezra the sixth chapter, the seventh verse and the ninth verse. Alright, and that's a prophet that's a prophecy we all looking forward to. When the Most High makes a new heaven and a new earth. Alright, when you go into that word for new, it means kainos in the Greek. Forgot what it is in the Hebrew, I believe it's Kadash. Alright? Which means to refresh. That right there alone pulls reincarnation because if Yahweh Shah's rulership is gonna be refreshed, that means he had to have rule before. When he ruled when he was Solomon, if he could receive it, you know. But even in that, as I did a lesson, the fact that Solomon had a thousand women but only four children proves that even Solomon understood like this ain't the end. All right, this ain't the, this this as, as splendid as Solomon was, all the money he had, he could take care of a million kids. He only had four because he must have seen the greater picture. All right, that this this rulership is bullshit. All right. And I'm not truly going to be in my stead till all this thing get fulfilled. Because he must have read Deuteronomy 30th chapter. Alright? And that's what we waiting on, man. For this devil to go down. For the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elect of that nation I just mentioned. Alright? To inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. And dwell in righteousness. That, that's when all people are going to rejoice. Okay? Because the scriptures tell us when the righteous bear fool, the people rejoice. But when a wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And everybody's in mourning and agony and frustration. There's roars, uh, there's, um, roars and uproars and rumors of wars all over the world right now. Because the devil is ruling. The devil being a so-called white man. So-called white because he's not white, he's red. Blood shine through his face. Leviticus 13 chapter lets us know that he's a clean leper. And this clean leper is going down. And Jacob is going to rise up very, very soon. We see it in all the prophecies, man. With that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, Kurt, the Blanus, the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, Shuel, and salutations to all for elect out there, man. You Akim, Tazadakim, but do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.